Mm-hmm. No, you gave me an example of self-love. What is it self-love for you? Hi, John. Example of self-love. What is it self-love for you? Hi, John. Example of self-love. What is it self-love for you? Hi, John. Everybody have different perspective on this one. What do you mean you don't know? You know. What is it for you to love yourself? What is it for you? Give me what, what's come up to your mind. When I tell you to love yourself, what is it self-love to you? Nothing. So, what is uh, when you love somebody? How you show you love to somebody? What you do? And then you say, yeah, see, I love them. Because what you do? You help them. So this is how you show your love to other people, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And when you help others, how do you feel? When you give others love, basically, how do you feel? Mm -hmm. So you try to please other people, right? Try to do things for them, what they like. Oh, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Make you happy. Uh huh. Good, good. Make you happy. See, that's what we learn in the childhood. For example, if uh, mama tell the child, okay, when you pick up the toys, then uh, I will play with you. So, other words, she give a signal to the child. When you pick up the toys, then I love you. Then I will connect with you. If you don't do it, then I'm not going to do it for you. Or when you finish your food, then I love you. Then you show mama how uh, you respect mama or how you love mama, okay? So in those little things, uh, they don't serve us a lot of time. See, you don't even know what make you happy. What make what, what is what make you happy, by the way? I didn't ask you that. What makes you happy? When you help others, but when... What when I don't know what else make you happy? So tell me what else make you happy? That's so cool. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay, the ocean makes you happy. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Okay. So, I wonder what, um, well, it's good. 
Do you have any questions that it's, um, you know what I do? I'm a coach. I'm just trying to think if I can help you in any way. Then the best way for me to would be ask you, do you have any challenges that you go through and you like to overcome it? When you focus on future. Is it anything hold you back or maybe any, anything that it's come up on your mind when I say so? Something that you want to resolve. <laughs> nice to see you guys. Aha, uh -huh. beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Um, so I tell you quickly, um, the thing is when you, when we been, all of us, okay, I've been a, very young in order to make us as a kids, um, how you say that? Not flexible, but obey our parents. Our parents teach us things to make them happy. And we had no choice to just adjust for it. <laughs> okay. So, and when we, when, when let's say mama make, make you more likely, you know, most likely, mama tell you, okay, if you do this, then I love you. If you do this, then I love you. Then you start to please everybody around because this way you get love. This way you, you get visible to others. And we all need attention. Especially kids need attention. So, and to do to have an attention, we learn how to do it, uh, what we can do to please others, and we learn that so good. And this program running our life pretty much, till we start to understand something doesn't work in my life, and how I can change it. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. Let me talk to um, Alibaba. Listen, very interesting. So, and when you, when you realize that it's still that little child, little little Ali, or how you, your mama call you, okay, he is still want to please other people, even though you don't have time for it. But you feel guilty if you don't do it, if you don't follow your program. Okay, you feel guilty because deep this guilt deep inside it's come to feels like if you don't do something for other people, it's almost same as uh, equally like you don't do it for your mama. You know what I mean? So and when you start to say no, 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 it's not true. These people, I don't have to do anything. You know what I mean? So and then when we when we start to realize all this, then you can shift this energy to transform this very program into something else, something that uh, more uh, better for you for now, because this is old program, Did you see? So this is very interesting what you just said, your mom gave you life um, but when you're sick. So because w w as a child, you learn if you don't, uh, if you do get sick, then you get this um, love from your mom Okay, and this is actually the, in psychology, they call, call it secondary benefits. So in the secondary benefits, it's like when people get sick to get love, when they get angry to get love, or they get um, victim, in a victim, um, how would you say that? Victim position, okay? So, but now, since you're aware of it, you start to understand, wait a minute, those programs don't serve me, serve me anymore. Those programs just pull me back because they make you feel terrible. You know, they make you feel like instead of if you don't have those programs running your life, you have more energy to move forward. You know what I mean? And guess where this um, um, feeling of like laziness or tired, tired for no reason, tired, 
this is also those uh, those energies that um, running our programs it's like here see it's our nervous system see and when your mama give you something this is all in your body it's like this program stuck in your body somewhere you understand and maybe mentally you understand you don't need to help people who ask you all the time you don't have time mentally you don't have time but guess what your body your facial you cannot help it you say okay what else i can do for you this is so strong those pro programs very strong and it is ways to transform those programs it is now uh, do practices and ways to transform this um, nervous system and before that you need to transform your neurons when you transform your neurons then you transform your body then you transform this vibration that within you and basically you start to transform your vibration right away because it's very sensitive it's right away our body kind of behind make sense Right away, our body kind of behind. Make sense? Right away, our body kind of behind. Make sense? Aha, uh -huh, Alibaba, it's very, very good that you are aware of your triggers. It's very good. So that means, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I had to pick up the phone with someone called me. Uh, so, okay, Alibaba, if you want to start to say no to others, you need to start to respect yourself, okay? And uh, slowly start to say no. Try to be out, try to be in a position that you don't do it or do it before they ask you. Okay, Alibaba, but if it's like very big problem, how old are you? I mean, if you are over 60, then I think you, it's okay if people ask you. Uh, depends, right? Aha, uh -huh, so you... Uh huh. Okay, Alibaba, you uh, uh, don't know what to tell you. You pretty much uh, know what to do, but you know what? If you do it and it makes you happy, maybe you don't want to stop. Say, you don't want to stop to say no. Start to say no. Maybe you want to go and do it. What do you think? So it's up to you, but if you really want to stop, you know that you need to respect yourself first and be honest to yourself. You do it just because you want to be loved or it makes you happy. It's a little bit different. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, maybe you don't want to let go um, of this um, habit. I don't know. If it's to make you happy, think about this. Uh -huh. But you struggle, what do you mean if it makes you happy and you struggle?
because you first of all you're comfortable in what you do okay you used to do it all the time you don't put yourself first because you don't know how to put yourself first you learn how to put other people first and when you start to be honest to yourself do you do it for other people to be loved with the respect to yourself you know what i mean And when you respect yourself, when you start to respect yourself, slowly say no, okay? Yes, that's okay. People, if people get upset, they got upset. It's okay. Let's say I got upset with you. Would you care? You're like, okay, get upset. It's your problem. You understand? Here is 639. Yeah. No, okay, let's do this. You want to do a little session? Alibaba, you want to do a little session with me? It's about 10 minutes. I need your attention, undivided attention. Uh-huh. I need your undivided attention and really follow my voice. Can you do it with me? Aha, uh -huh. okay. So if anybody can listen, of course, because it can affect everybody, okay? Okay, now, Alibaba. Sit straight. Try to adjust your yourself so your spine will be straight. I tell you why. Uh, you know those chakras that in our body, right? It's energy centers. And imagine each energy center, it's seven of them, you know, seven centers. Imagine each center, it's like a candle. Okay, and when you see it like crooked, so each candle need to hit another candle, okay? So, and you just see it straight, imagine that you line up those candles, okay? You chin a little bit down, you don't have to do this, okay? Chin down a little bit, okay? And just connect with your body with breathing. Just start to breathe. Mm -hmm. just breathe and relax, relax your legs, Relax your knees, okay? Just stay in comfort zone. Um, Alibaba, I forgot to ask you, can you please uh, answer, do you believe in soul? Uh-huh, Alibaba, do you believe in soul? 100%, okay, beautiful. Okay, get back please to that quiet space of yours. Breathe, okay, connect with yourself. And just let's start, relax your body. Okay, relax your back, relax your shoulders. Move your shoulder blades and find the right position for your shoulder blades. Relax your neck. Mm -hmm. Relax your face. You can close your eyes and relax your eyes. And just breathe, be comfortable. And now I want to ask you, dive deep inside to the space where it's so peaceful. Somewhere inside of you, you have the space where it's so peaceful. This is very, very spot where your soul connected with you, with your body. Wonderful, just breathe. 
Okay, connect with yourself. Be aware. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And now I want you to just imagine that you are slowly seeing in front of you beautiful paradise. Slowly you can see unfolding for you. Maybe it's a, like a fog or a cloud open up and you see beautiful paradise. Very good, and just step into that beautiful place and feel under your feet. It's a beautiful path. Maybe it's not too small, it's not too big, it's perfect size for you, perfect size for you. And you step on it and you follow the path. And it's so beautiful all around you. And you notice all these details on the left, on the right, and you just enjoy the walk. This is your place. Nobody knows about this beautiful place. This is your paradise. And now you notice it's a big tree, big tree ahead of you. It's noticeable tree. It's different. It's massive. And now you realize this is your family tree. And you come closer. And you just feel so amazed of the size of the tree. And imagine that you can see through the soil and you can see these beautiful roots get together. And possibly you even know, or deep inside you realize that it's something that, that you already been into, you already know. And look up, it's beautiful crown, massive crown, which is your future. And now maybe you wanna walk around this beautiful tree and notice this moss under the tree or what else you see for yourself. Just enjoy this beautiful moment, connection, you and the tree. And notice the air here. Beautiful. And now find yourself comfortable under the tree. And notice this protection that this tree gives you sense of protection, sense of belonging, sense of worthiness, that you are so abundant being here. And just find this beautiful sensation within. Feel what is something changed within you. Notice that. Beautiful. Okay, and now, when you're comfortable, when you enjoy yourself, I want to ask you to close your eyes and imagine that you see empty space, just empty. And imagine that in front, in front of you, uh, you see the, you know, possibly like huge screen. And on the screen, you start to see the picture of yourself when you feel but look at yourself, when you feel that same feeling, when you help somebody and you feel like it's, it's, it's not very pleasant. I want you to find this very feeling that when you help somebody, but you realize that why do I do it? Why do I get my time? And like when you feel tired of it, when you feel like you don't want to do it anymore. So it's like, I, we need to find this something negative that you want to transform. That's what I'm trying to say, okay? So find this feeling and feel this, okay? See how that you in the screen, you there, kind of how you look like, okay? You look like maybe, um, you know, you can tell when person not happy, the facial, you can tell that you're not happy, okay? I want you to see yourself. And now imagine you soul and I'm soul. And we can watch you, okay? We can watch you, what's going on with you when you like that. 
Now you are soul and I'm soul. But you help me. Now notice when you in that position, when you feel like mm, something going on, tell me, is it like in your, when, what part of your body you feel that? Can you write it down for me? What part of your body you feel it? It's a belly, it's like around the belly button, it's your heart, it's your throat. Uh, where is that in your body? That sensation that it's resonate with that feeling. Alibaba, can you please write it down for me? Really, very interesting. <laughs> okay, so you see yourself struggling with that. Okay? And you see yourself and it, it's all a fact because you're doing this, okay? Now, please find that very very point where it feels like that. It feels, do you feel pain? You feel, what feeling you have there, okay? So I want you to just hold on it. And now I tell you, when you're 20 years old, or around 20 years old, you felt the same pain. What happened? Something happened when you're 20 years old. You felt the same thing. Same pain. Doesn't have to be in the same spot. But it can be the same kind of feeling, kind of same feeling, same pain, same feeling. Uh, pain, I mean, not physical pain, but feeling like deep inside. So do, did you have a situation when you were being 20 years old? Just say yes or no. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, and now keep holding that, keep holding that very feeling. And now I ask you, dive deeper in your childhood when you between three years old and maybe seven years old in that period of time you felt something somebody did something to you you start to feel the same feeling how old were you then just give me age Alibaba, six, Alisha. Okay, good. So now you soul and I'm soul. Listen to me, please. Now we're important. Now we're here. Something happened. Just now, just listen to me. Something happened. And here, you as the soul, you see this little Alibaba, little Ali, okay? He is six years old, around six years old, and something happened. Some situation happened. Pass the situation. Imagine that you have this remote, you pass the situation, okay? And your child, your inner child, little Ali, who is six years old, only he can see you. And only you, as a soul, can explain to little Ali Baba what just happened. Something happened. Somebody heard Ali Baba without understanding and notice that it can affect the child so bad. Now, please explain, uh, tell me who is behind the situation, mama or your father? Ali. So who is behind the situation? Who is a, uh, who did hurt you, mother or father? Uh, 
Andre, are you still here? Talk to me. Who is uh, who was behind the situation, mother or father? When you're six years old, who you see first on the picture? Ali, please tell me. Yeah, for most people, mother, for me too. So, because she's the very first person who teach you things. Okay, now you soul and I'm soul, okay? You please help me, okay? Now we see the little Alibaba. He have this something that it's hold this energy that it doesn't feel good, okay? So now you as a soul, you can ask, little Alibaba to, to take it out from the body. Just take it out from the body. Imagine imagine this picture like a little child. That's something that is inside. Take it out and take it out from your body and look at this. How does it look like? What does it look like? You know, for some people it's look like ice. For some people it's look like um, broken glass. For some people look heavy like stone. For you it would be something else. Okay? Hold this image. So maybe just a ball of energy. Now I want you to talk to little Alibaba and say, you know what? Maybe just a ball of energy. Now I want you to talk to little Alibaba and say, you know what? Look at him. Okay. Look at him. Look at his eyes. And say, I see you. And I understand you. Anything you did, you did it right. You didn't know how to do it any other way. So any choices you did, it's okay. I'm here now with you. And you don't have to hold this pain anymore. This pain doesn't belong to us. Mother gave it to us because she didn't know how to handle situation. And it's okay, it's not yours. You still need to return this to the mom, to mama. So now you return this to mama, okay? And now you see how old is your mom. Maybe she was under distress. Maybe something else happened and she couldn't, she didn't know how to handle you. She was so young. She didn't know. And under distress, people act differently. So now you see and see her and understand her from different point of view. And only you as a soul can explain to little Alibaba that that's what happened with adults. They don't know how to deal with kids sometimes, okay? So that's why you give back this energy. You don't have to hold it anymore. And you look at mom and say, as the little Alibaba tell this to mom, Mama, I love you. And I appreciate you so much for all experience you give me. And I appreciate that you will train me this way and you will give me this um, situation that it make me better, it make me different, it make me understand and learn a lot of other things. Now I take experience, but I give you back energy because she need that energy, that's her energy, it's not yours. And when you give it back to mama, because for her, her intention when she tried to do something, okay, her intention wasn't to hurt you, to teach you maybe, to teach you lesson because she, she, was, she believed that it will help you, most likely. So now she get back this energy. 
And if this energy somehow affects her in the same kind of way that it, it's painful, maybe she is, um, you know, she feels like bad, little Alibaba can tell mama, mama, you don't have to hold it. You can send it back to grandmother because most likely your mama caged this very program when she was a little girl. And now you see yourself how all this unfolding, this energy unfolding, 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 and you, you started it, you did that. So this very program, when you cannot say no, okay, you don't have to carry this anymore. Now you do it if you want to do it. You don't do it when you don't want to do it. And you feel totally fine in both ways. You respect yourself. You respect this little Ali Baba who won't be happy, who doesn't want to feel obligated to anybody. He wants to play. He wants to explore. He wants to give you all this energy you have. Give him a hug. Give him all this love. You can hug mama too, because she changed too. And now you understand your mama from different way different point of view and now just imagine you connect all together how do you feel now is it anything shifting your body is it anything different that you just feel you don't have to write anything just feel now you're different and now slowly you you realize that you change the pattern now because first you change it in your mind, then you start to realize, I'm free from this program. You don't have to do it anymore. Beautiful. And now slowly, you start to realize you in this beautiful place look like paradise. And beautiful tree behind you. And you make a deep inhale, slowly, Exhale and breathe comfortably. Notice this beautiful place is yours. Nobody knows about this place. You can come back here anytime you want. Anytime you need to find the answer for any question, you can come back. And now slowly you get up. You say thank you so much to this tree. And you start your way back, walking on the path. And you know how to get here now. Okay, and slowly you make a, again, deep inhale and slowly exhale. And now you feel your body. So you can move your hands, you can move your feet. And Whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes and give me a little feedback.